Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Pokemon Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke, which has been a while since I've last done it. I'm... hopefully... hopefully this time I'm gonna be able to finish up the training. At least for Kai. How is Kai doing anyway? Still doing pretty good with everything. Not too much longer until you level up. At the very least, I want Kai to reach level 16 before we even set foot in the gym. Actually, uh, Gary, how long until you level up? Yeah, that's right. Anyway, hopefully uh, when I upload the VOD for this on YouTube, I'll actually start editing it down. Thankfully, I don't think that the training is going to take too much longer. Just going to take a... just a little bit. But yeah, the YouTube VODs are definitely going to be edited down, so a lot of the, like, extra stuff is probably going to be cut out. I've been going back and editing a lot of my old Minecraft VODs, just to, like, the highlights. I'm not going to edit the old Pokémon VODs, but the ones going into the future are going to be edited down. I've been trying to do the same for Wildermyth. Wildermyth still winds up being pretty long, but it's not as long. And um, Pokemon should hopefully be um, a lot better as well. So Kai, 16, good. So how are you doing now, buddy? Alright, so I'm gonna heal up, and we're gonna at least face one of the trainers in the gym. Uh, I guess we're gonna just go ahead and head in? I, I, for some reason I thought, oh, it's gonna take me longer. No, I just need to, like, fight a Pokemon. So we're gonna see what this kid is capable of. You avoid the long way around? Let's see why you do that! I did it to test my skill, and let's see if my skill is good enough. Youngster Jonathan sent out Rhyhorn. Let's go, Kipper! Okay, level 13 Rhyhorn. Is Water Gun gonna be good enough? That was good enough. And. Kabuto. Um, I'll have to use a ground type, probably. Or ground- I was gonna have get Kipper use- No, let's actually switch to Toby. Toby, you should be able to take on a Kabuto easier. Because you've got grass type moves. And if I'm correct, this thing is- This thing is rock water, if I'm right. Okay. Goodbye, Kabuto. Toby's slow, but we're still able to do something. Omanyte's also rock water. Keep battling. Why does Omanyte have the exact same cry as matchup? It's something I noticed, like, years ago. I guess it's because they, they, used, a re they used a lot of sounds for Gen 1 Pokemon, actually, now that I think about it. Goodbye, Ammonite. I'm sorry, Lord Helix. <laughs> now I understand why you decided to battle with me! Alright. So, that went well. Okay, we could probably take on the second trainer and Gary will reach level 18. Probably won't be enough for Gary to evolve, but... Only those who want to can challenge a Pokemon gym! I mean, that's kind of the point of being in a Pokemon gym. In air. Okay. Uh, let's try Bulldoze. Steel type, so should be super effective. There we go. Good job, Kipper. Lyleep. That is a grass type. 
Hmm. But we'll use rock type moves if I send out Kai. Toby! Actually, Toby does not have the right moves to take on the grass type. Because you are a grass type. It'll be normal. Your your moves will basically be normal against a Lie Leap. Like, watch. Razor Leaf will not be super effective. No. Didn't do as much damage as I would have liked it to either. Okay. One more Razor Leaf. Just see if we can get around that confusion. No. Oh, Ingrain. Goody. Should I have stuck with Kipper? Maybe. Okay, I'm switching- I'm, I'm switching Pokemon. This is just- Yeah, we're switching! We're switching! I'm switching Pokemon! Guessing you're gonna use another acid. So... If you're using acid again... Kai with Mach Punch should be fast. Okay, another acid. Special defense spell. A little worrying, but we should be able to handle. We know three of Lyleep's moves though now. Mock Punch. Maybe he doesn't have Rock-type moves. Hmm. I should've just used Kai from the beginning. Okay, well. Please let this work better. Okay, well, hmm. Just using acid still. But Kai keeps hurting itself in confusion. Okay, that was quick. Good, good job. Good job, Kai. You're great. And Anorith. Rock bug, I believe. Let's keep battling with Kai. Um, actually, let's go ahead and heal really quick. And... Water gun! Okay, we're switching, we're switching. Kipper! Let's go! Should've just used Kipper. Yeah, that's gonna be... yeah. Okay, um... Water gun. Let's go. Stop using Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter is actually scary if it's used rapidly. Because it, it's it like increases its power every single turn, right? I think that's how it is. Okay, defeat youngster Darius. Okay. I am off to heal. That one person the other day, um, that one person the last episode said uh, like we might need to over level. Yeah, I think they're right. I think that person's right. We're probably gonna have to over level. Yeah, D and D. Uh, my Friday game finally met met met, met up again. Yeah, I I, I always talk about D and D in my Nuzlocks. When, whenever I do my Nuzlocke, I always talk about D and D. I I think I've done this like since, at, like when I was doing Heart Gold way way back. Or Sacred Gold, I guess it was technically called. But yeah. Hey, Queen. Wait, they did. Wait, what did I say? They did. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you talk the Friday the Friday game. That's right. I, I mentioned the Friday game. Like my Friday game all has been. I always I always talk about D and D whenever I do whenever I do Nuzlocke for some reason. Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
by the way, if, if anybody is, if anybody else watches this, like when the VOD gets uploaded and stuff, uh, go. Ch um, we do the Nuzlocke over on Queen G Turtles channel whenever, like, when, whenever. Not Nuzlocke. We do the D and D game on Queen G Turtles channel, and also Queen also does a whole bunch of other games like Stardew Valley and Valheim. Is that is that the game? Uh, Sims and a lot of other stuff. So go check out Queen. Queen's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, um, we we finally were able to meet up again. That was fun. That was fun. We ran into that weird deer skull thing again. Valheim, Utopia, Great Ace Attorney soon. Ooh, yeah. So if you want to go check out Queen, because Queen is great. <laughs> if any of that sounds good, yeah. <laughs> There was a point where Vigilance did take damage. I know I've mentioned this, like, in previous, like, Nuzlocke things. There was a point where Vigilance took damage, and if he had not succeeded on his save, things could have gone horribly, horribly wrong! Thankfully, he was safe. Uh, Kime took more than half damage, though. So she was in trouble. And we had to, like, get her to the Cleric. And she's like, I sacrificed myself valiantly to to protect vigilance. Kime, you slipped on your own vomit and fell on your ass. Like, <laughs> it, it was hilarious, <laughs> but it was it was fun. Rosie is very suspicious about the deer guy, but isn't worried overall. I don't think vigilance is as like like wary of of it. Like he like he's somewhat wary, but not like as like. He, he doesn't think it's malicious, is his thing. He doesn't think it's, like, going to do any harm. Just, like, give it some respect, and it won't... Wait a second, Riss leveled up. How... I was talking, I didn't even notice that Riss... Okay. I didn't even notice that Riss leveled up. Also, the highlight where I almost... That's true! Yeah, but... That's kind of my thing. I keep on... I always make all the wrong decisions whenever I do stuff. It's great. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there is a highlight over on Queen's channel where Vigilance tries to heal himself and accidentally almost kills himself. It was a lot. It was the right wrong decision for the drama. That's true. <laughs> and that, that that's how D&D should be, doing all the right wrong decisions. There, sometimes you run into a player who's just not a good fit for that campaign. Some people just want like a hack and slash fight everything campaign, but some people want a story. I do think it's important to kind of communicate, like, because like if somebody if someone's preferred style is like I'm just here for like rolling dice and killing things, and that's valid, but it's not for everyone. And likewise, some people like are here for like a really deep story, like the like. The rolling might be part of it, but they're here for the role play and the drama. And again, like, like well, that's what I prefer, and that's valid too. Again, not everyone is interested in that, so... There's different ways to play, and I can respect that. Hey, Simba and Gary are both leveling up! He, and then he died violently. Yeah, makes sense. Gary, yes! Gary's evolving! Finally, I'm getting a Gyarados! This has taken me so long! And... Congratulations! Gary is now a Gyarados! Heck yeah! I now have a level 20 Gyarados who wants to learn Bite! Already those four moves? Yes, I'm gonna teach you Bite! Do I have Splash? We're getting rid of Splash first thing. And... forgot Splash. Good job. You've learned Bite. Are you gonna learn any Water-type moves? No. Do I have any Water-type moves I can teach you? Gary grew into their name? Yes. Water Pulse! I have nine- I forgot! This- I forgot that there's 99 of- <laughs> Gary! You're learning Water Pulse! I forgot that- I forgot that this- I forgot that this one teaches so many. He already knew Bounce, which is interesting. Water Pulse, excellent. Even- like, even if I run into trouble, 
Gary's gonna be my fail safe if this if fighting at this gym does not go well. I think that's what I'm gonna try and do now. Alright. So now I think it's about time that I face the gym! Welcome! This is the Orberg Pokemon Gym! I'm Rock, the gym leader! I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon to battle with you. Here we go. Hopefully I'm not making a giant mistake. Oh crap, what items do I have? I'm already making a giant mistake. I didn't check what items I'm bringing into the gym. Oh well. Oh, level 15. That was all gonna be level 16. Okay. Um, let's start with Bulldoze. Okay, your speed fell. Sandstorm. We're ground type, right, Kipper? So we shouldn't get take any damage. Okay. Bulldoze once again. Okay, okay. Geodude. We're gonna keep battling. I get the feeling this Geo the Geodude is being sent out because you have some sort of trick. Let's start with Mud Slap. Lower the accuracy. Bulldoze! Okay. So our speed fell. We'll also bulldoze. Okay, our speed fell as well. But... Okay. We're gonna do one more bulldoze. Okay, using up a super potion. That's good, that's good. There we go, your, your speed has also been lowered. Um, let's try Mud Slap, actually. There we go. And Kipper is level 18! Okay, okay, that's good. What's their Mud Bomb? Can't earn more than four moves. What does Mud Bomb do, exactly? It launches a hard-packed Mud Ball to attack may also lower the target's accuracy. So... It's like a more powerful but less accurate mud slap. Should I should I replace mud slap with mud bomb or tackle? Tackle is like the ba the most basic move, but is mud slap mud slap it has a higher percentage of hitting than mud bomb. But the mud bomb's more powerful. Tackle. Hmm. For now, I'm gonna replace Tackle, I think, actually, because... We'll, we'll see what Mud Bomb can do. Okay, for Mud Bomb, okay. We'll, we'll see what Mud Bomb can do. Kranidos! Hmm. Gonna need somebody with a high defense. Who all do I have? Summary... To 27, 28. Briss has the highest defense. Mudslap also has an accuracy drop mechanic too, doesn't it? Yeah, that's part of the reason I was saying like, like Mudslap mud also lowers the accuracy. So I, like that's part of what I'm saying is that like Mud Bomb. Yeah, it's there's a lot to keep up with. This is the reason I don't do competitive gameplay. <laughs> Might use Riss. I think I'm gonna use Riss, because Riss has really high defense. I know Kranidos... Yeah, Tackle is like the most basic move, besides Scratch. Tackle, Scratch, Pound, the most basic moves. So. Bulldoze right off the bat. Zen Headbutt. 
A critical hit right off the bat! Your sword shield, nose like bone, so bad. Oh dear. Somehow you hung on. Oh, come on. Oh, do I have- I only have regular potions left. Let's hope for the best. I'm scared. I am very scared. Please, 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 please. Okay. This is the reason that I had to choose somebody with high defense. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. Where's flinched? Okay. Using a potion again. Okay, you're a tech mist. Bulldoze. Please, 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 yes! That should do the trick. I'm also guessing because when Rourke threw the Pokeball, when Rourke threw the Pokeball, like that smoke came out, that that was Rourke's ace. That that was Rourke's strongest. Onyx. Okay. I'm pretty sure I took out Rourke's ace. So, I'm gonna send out Toby for now. <laughs> okay. Let's see if Toby can take on the Onyx. Uh, let's go ahead and use Razor Leaf. Stealth Rock. So I can't really switch Pokemon. I can't use Kai the rest of this- I can't use Kai for this battle is what this means. Maybe not Gary. Because it is a Rock-type move. If I send either of them out, they'll take Rock-type damage and that'll be super effective. It's gonna suck. So Toby is probably gonna have to take out the rest of the Pokemon. That one went down pretty easy, though. Luckily, Onyx sucks. Larvitar! I'm gonna keep battling. We've seen a few Larvitar out there. We took them out pretty easily. Let's go ahead and use K-Bite. Let's go ahead and use Razor Leaf. And there it goes. That was easy. So what's your weakest Pokemon? Or your, this is either the weakest or the best Pokemon. But I'm pretty sure the Kranidos was the best one. Okay, Toby's buffeted. Bonsly! So probably the weakest, honestly. Think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did earlier? Let's see. Come on. Unless you have Sturdy. Oh, well you have something. You have a Rindo Berry. Brick Break. <gasps> oh! I just barely saw that's a baby one. Ah! That was my starter! My starter! Ah. You know what? Gary can take a little bit of damage, right? Yeah, you can take you can take a bit of you can take a bit of damage. Yeah, you can you can take a bit of damage. Yeah, cut the attack. You're not doing that again. You are not doing that again. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't apologize to the Bonsley. The Bonsley's gonna die. Oh, 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 come on. Just the let me kill this. I'm killing it. 
There we go. Okay. What? That can't be! My buffed up Pokemon! Sorry, but you're- that- That was a buff Bond's lie for sure. I'm trying to subdue it into no more crits. At, le at least there have been no more crits. This is embarrassing. I don't care if it's embarrassing. You killed my Pokemon! You killed my starter! I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. Oh, you're the one complaining here? But that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League... Your Pokemon League gym... I, I cannot talk. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. And I received the Cole badge. Okay. Having a Cole badge means your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this, too. And I've got TM76s. That TM76 contains the move Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move in to a Pokemon instantly. <laughs> I am not happy. I got the gym badge, but at what cost? Move Pokemon. Okay. Axel, I think I'm taking you along now. Toby. Second dead Pokemon. Lucian and Toby. I hope everything's going well for you guys. Guess this means... Don't battle me, don't battle me, don't battle me. Whoops! Ren! You got the gym badge, huh? Eterna City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So, yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So, I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge! Ten seconds before I dash! Nine! Bah, who's got time to count? And off he goes. At least you didn't lose any of your Pokemon, Barry. I'm just gonna throw shade at everybody at this point. <laughs> Looker! Tell me, have you not obtained a pal pad? Is not a pal pad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? Anyway, there appears to be no one shady in this Jubilife city. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But, my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. Okay then, that was an interesting encounter. Stay vigilant for shady grown-ups, like the random guy in a trench coat who runs up to you telling you about going into the basement and getting a pal pad. Now, 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 now. Professor Rowan, you must comply. Hand over all your research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. Ah, oh, Ren. Well, how is the Pokedex progressing? Hmm, that's Orberg gym that's Orberg's gym badge, I see. But I ha but hadn't I given you your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like a second nature to you. Yeah, Professor Rowan, about that first Pokemon you gave me. Uh Oh, Professor Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business, because this is work for us. So how's that Pokemon I gave you? It's not dead, I trust. Oh, no. What we're saying is, we demand you comply with our demands. Quiet, you lot. Why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. One, don't loiter about for no good reason. Number two, don't interrupt others while they're attempting to converse. 
Number three, if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Number four, don't think you've grown strong just because you're in a group. Number five, what is with those outlandish outfits you have on? That is a good lesson. My goodness, you call yourselves adults. You kids, don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Eh, you had to make this personal. You have forced our hand into making a show of force. We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids, give these thugs a lesson in civility, please. Quinn, let's bow together. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I don't know why I started doing that voice for the grunts, but I did, and my throat hopefully will not make me regret it later. Alright, so... Uh, let's go ahead and Dragon Breath... Which one? Which one? Let's Dragon Breath the Stunky first. Oh, great. I'm gonna be... Yeah. Wait. Oh, right! Fairy type's a thing in this game! That's right, I was wondering why is poison super effective against Clefairy? That's right, fairy type! So I'll take care of that, st of that Stunky so that we can get rid of the biggest threat here. Oh! Oh, okay, the Glammeow is targeting me as the biggest threat. Great, great. Critical hit. Okay, well, Silky's gone. And hopefully the Clefairy will be okay. Okay, you know, I'm gonna try and Ember the Silcoon, because why not? And the Clefairy's gone. And the Axel is fast asleep. It's probably true about the actual Axel. Let's be real. Okay. Quick attack against me, of course. Axel's fast asleep. Wake up! Yeah, that one probably is the bigger threat, to be fair. Did you get both of us or just one of us? Okay, you got Axel, and I think you're getting Piplup as well. Yeah, you got both of us. Okay. And Cascoon. Okay. Wake up! Please, wake up! Look, the Piplup's gonna do better than you. Look at that! Look how well Piplup did! Axel, wake up, please! Wake up, take out the Cascoon. Wake up! Oh my gosh. See, Piplup is just cleaning- is just cleaning up here. I- Axel, you have done nothing! You've done nothing this whole battle! You're- you're freeloading while sleeping. You're freeloading off of Piplup here. Okay, you know what? At least Dawn is good at fighting. At, at least, at least Dawn knows what she's doing, having her Pokemon fight. Okay, finally. We're, yeah, see, we, we've got this, Dawn. We, we're taking care of the entire... We're taking care of the entirety of Team Plasma for you. We've got this, Dawn. Don't worry. We've done it. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing the children. This won't do. Time to retreat. I didn't even read the rest of that. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. We shall do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. And off they go. 
that lot, they called themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as energy for something. Right, did you know? The professor studies evolution of Pokemon too! According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution! Well, maybe that's the reason those people tried to take the professor's research data by force. That's really unforgivable! It's all over, so you can relax now. Still, thanks to you two, nothing came of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Ren, kudos to you for your battling skill. It's got me thinking, why don't you collect all the gym badges of Sinnoh? Doing so, you'll be sure to encounter lots of Pokémon. That, of course, means your Pokédex pages will continuously fill up. I... You realize I'm doing a Nuzlocke, right? I can't fill up the pages, right? In other words, it will be of great help to my research. Yeah, I can't help you with your research, man. Sorry. That said, I've given you your first Pokémon and Pokédex as yours to keep. First Pokémon... Dead. Pokedex. Never getting filled. You're free to do with them as you wish. Take care now. Oh boy, I can never tell Professor Rowan what happened. <laughs> Ooh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. And I'm getting a call. Gonna, I don't recognize the number. I got a fashion case, okay. Contained within that fashion case, you'll find a whole spectrum of chic accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow! And right now, the TV station is offering facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There are also prize giveaways too. Please do visit our TV station. Um... I'll check it out at some point. The star of tomorrow is you! Your Pokémon has a glow about it! So a gift to our future star. I got a Turtwig mask! I just had an idea. Professor Rowan will never know! Okay? Professor Rowan will never know! I will- sure, I'll save this design, why not? Ooh, nice work! Let's display the photo right away! Oh, but it needs to have a title! There we go! But this is some we can erase! <laughs> yeah! Turtwig. Ooh, yes, yes, I get it now! Your aesthetics shine through! It looks perfect! Yay! Here we go! See? My Turtwig is fine! <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Oh boy, okay, well. Everything is okay, Professor! Yeah! Hi! Um... You just showed up out of nowhere, hi! Hello! I'm with Jubilife TV! May I hit you up for a quick interview? Thank you very much! Let's not waste any time! May I have your comment on the finished photograph? Normal! It's completely normal! The, it's, the whole- everything I'm doing is completely normal. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us! We'll be featuring this interview in an upcoming TV program! <laughs> Please do tune in and see how you look on TV! Oh boy. This is a normal Turtwig, yes! Do not question it, everything is fine! Anyway, I guess... Guys, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm gonna wrap up around now. I... I... I, I guess... Yeah. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. I'll... See you guys next time. Have a good day, guys. Stay safe out there, everybody. <laughs>